Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. How are you guys feeling? Great. Good morning. Dude, James Ruff has a legit setup. All of a sudden, I see someone turn on their camera. He's got like a microphone and the headset. He's like, I'm in. I'm ready. You just, you just you stood out to me this morning. I love it. All right. Good morning, guys. How are you feeling? Great. James, turn on your microphone. Let's see. I want to hear what, what, do you, what do you sound like? Is it like? Good morning. There we go. Listen to that. You see, I knew it. He's going to have like that podcaster voice. I dig it. I'm well, just going to have. You're in an audio studio right now. <laughs> there you go. See, I, I, I called out the one person audience. And anyway, James, thank you for being here. You're, you're perfectly tied into what Krista is going to talk about today. So Krista is going to be talking about click funnels and using uh, the power of video and media through a video and funnel based system. And uh, basically how she sells 100 homes a year, how it all ties together. Are you wanting a kickstart on your business? And you want to learn how to be the go-to professional in your industry? Well, guess what? I've got a free challenge for you. It's five days of coaching. It's brand new. Just go to kristamayshore.com slash client conversion. That's kristamayshore.com slash client conversion. And you'll get a free training with me for five straight days. That's going to help kickstart you as the go-to professional in your industry. So sign up and I'll see you there. You guys see me there with no makeup on and I look red. So <laughs> I got my hair done and I'm not happy with it. So this morning I was putting purple shampoo on it to try to get the brassiness out. So I didn't have time to, but uh, I'm, I'm recording all these videos today. I'm just like my hair, I am having a hair day, not happy, but it's okay. It's I'm going to, I'm still going to record the videos because it's better to be perfectly imperfect than be, per, uh, than be, you know, wait. So I'm doing it anyways. Um, all right, everyone, how are we doing today? So I wanted to talk to you about like online, all right? And hope you guys are doing amazing. I saw you guys saying yes, yes, yes. So right now, I figured it'd be really good to talk about um, funnels and um, funnels are, are really, really good at funnels. <laughs> I, I specialize in them. And um, the reason I wanna talk about this today is because many of you are, are shut down. Like for example, I'm shut down where, where in my area. It's completely stay at home. You can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. So. You know, now more than ever, it's really important for us to be having an online presence, right? And being able to then show up to our sellers during this this coronavirus and be able to say, hey, I've got a way to be able to, um, to counteract anything. I don't do um, open houses and I haven't done them for like probably around 10 years. I say eight, but it's probably closer to 10. Like I can't remember the last time I did an open house. And my sellers, when I meet with them, they don't even want me to do an open house because I can show them, you know, I spend, um, before I even show up to, to the open house, I send this a video that's 17 minutes long that talks all about digital marketing and why digital marketing completely is different than the average type of marketing that traditional agents do. Now more than ever, right, um, it, it, it's imperative because since March, like it's been, it's been really, really difficult to operate business in the traditional manner that most of you are used to doing it, okay? And please understand that when I say that it's not a put down to you, it's something you're doing wrong. Most of us have just never been taught to market online. We've all been taught to do the traditional things like open houses and cold calling and door knocking and networking. And I do know that those things work, but I also know that it's not the most effective, efficient um, way for you to utilize your time. So I, I wanna show you what we came up with. And now this helps with two things. Number one, it helps when I show up on a listing appointment, right? And I don't, I don't, we can't do open houses, but I can show my sellers how we're, we've already been able to overcome that. And we can still do virtual online open houses. Now there's two types. One is a type where it's just, it, we just run an ad behind it. And, you know, everyone sees, uh, they just go on their own and view the open house. The other type is where I actually meet with them and they actually go on a Zoom with me and my team um, and they jump on and ask questions about, about the open house. Here's the thing, not many people actually end up going on this unless you're marketing it, right? If you're not putting an ad behind it, if you're not putting a budget behind it, people aren't going to show up to your virtual online funnel. But what, what you need to understand is that all of those things differentiate you as an agent from everyone else. 
right? Our goal is to differentiate ourselves so that when we go on an appointment, we are talking about, you know, 10 different things that nobody else even ever talked about or even brought up, right? We're showing them things and that's how you can get, get a higher price commission. And that's how you can also ensure that you get the appointment. If you were on the, um, the, the, it's probably been about two weeks. Maybe it was last week. I, I always get things mixed up, but, um, when we talked about, you know, what you do prior to going to a listing appointment and how, number one, how do you get listings, right? Last week we went over that. We talked about the CMA drop off and, and all that. Those would bring people in, into one of the funnels that I'm going to show you here. And then, so the first idea is how do we get listings, right? How do we make sure that we, people are raising their hand and saying, I want to work with you. That's the first step. Okay. The second step is once we get that listing, how do we make sure that we differentiate ourselves compared to our competition? And how do we make sure we actually get the appointment, right? Like how do we ensure that no matter what, even if they've got their friends, their, their best friend that's a realtor or they're interviewing five people, how do we ensure prior to the appointment that we actually get the appointment, okay? So there's multiple steps to this. Each step, honestly, I could teach on for a couple hours just to kind of really go over it. But what I'm going to talk about today is last week we talked about how to get seller appointments, okay, by running campaigns through Facebook. Don't forget the initial start of that. It's not just running the campaign and, and sending them to a funnel. It's developing trust, positioning yourself as the expert, and being seen, uh, you know, as the authority figure so that they'll even download to begin with right? And I want to make you understand just how imperative it is that you do that. If you miss that initial step of getting out content, positioning yourself as the expert, they're not going to click and give you their information because they haven't, they don't trust you yet. Okay. Your conversion rates are going to skyrocket when you use the strategy, which is first, I'm going to make sure I put content out there. I'm going to target certain people. I'm going to put specific information in front of specific people because they've showed interest in it. Does everyone understand that now? Does that make, is that really clear for you all? Okay, good, good, good. Now, um, and we want conversions, right? We want conversions, so we wanna make sure you that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and get into the funnels. Again, last, last, um, why aren't they showing up? Last month, last week we did how to get, there we go. Last week we did how do we actually get them and now we're gonna be talking about, um, Give me one second. They aren't where they should be. Huh. Give me one second. Ask me some questions while I'm looking for this because it was here a minute ago and now it's missing. And I don't know why. I hope I didn't put it in the wrong. Uh, okay, Alexandra, give me one second. Let's keep. Questions, 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 questions. Any questions? Any questions first on on last week? Um, how we actually get how we actually get people to show up and, and give us their information? Any questions on that? How we get listings? Anybody? How can we watch that video? What? <laughs> watch the video, James. How, how can I watch that video that you did? Is there an archive? It, it's it'll be in the agent power huddle. So it'll be in the agent power huddle. So if you look at the agent power huddle, you'll be able to you'll be able to to, to grab that and see that. And it um, and, and remember. Even before that phase, you know, we, we went into great, great depth as far as um, how to, you know, make sure that when you, you bring them to that landing page, that they're more likely to give you their information. And it all starts with developing a relationship with your community, putting out content, positioning yourself as the expert, and being very, being different, okay? How, how do you, how do you walk the legal line of representing yourself as someone uh, myself i've done many investments successfully but i'm not allowed to promote investment ideas at least in new york uh, because i'm not an investment manager um, i don't have the series 57 or whatever license is required so how, how how i don't know if you have any experience with this how would you go about showing that as you're differentiating quality while still being within the legal bounds of not offering advice you're not supposed to give. James, are you, so I'm not familiar with that because I don't, I don't, I'm not in New York, but are you allowed to educate people? Are you allowed to educate people about, about investing? Can you talk about it? I, I, I can speak about it, but it, it's a gray area on whether you're being an advisor 
uh, illegally or like maybe put a disclosure like, hey, I can share this with you, but I'm not a legal advisor on this. Make sure that I had a disclaimer on the bottom of every video that was nice and small, but that was on it like the entire time just to cover myself or several times throughout there. Like I'm not an attorney or whatever, you know, these seek legal advice. This is just informative information. Right? Okay. Because so, so here, this is the true story. So we had it and I can't find those funnels right now. I'm freaking out. Let me see if I can get Alex just real quick to send it to me because I really want to make sure I get this to you and I'm not sure what happened. So just give me one second. So we had a, we had an agent who was a brand new um, agent. Can you please send me the monthly funnels? I can find it in my folder where it's at. Um, we, we had an agent, she was a brand new agent and she got nominated best realtor. She had never sold a house yet because she was putting out, Sue Lafave is her name. She was putting out content, right? So she was just talking about market updates, seller tips, buyer tips, interviewing people, you know, local areas, talking about the neighborhoods and they've nominated her best real estate agent because perception is reality, right? So James, if you can just start educating people on a regular basis, about it and i would just talk to your attorney make sure that you're okay um and you might get a little bit of you know a little bit of slack from it from people but um as long as you know that you're okay you know it shouldn't it shouldn't be it shouldn't be an issue as long as you're not breaking any of the rules what's that girl's name or woman's name her name is sue s-u-e lafave l-e-f-a-v-i l-e-f l-e-f-a-v-i thank you okay um, I, I found them. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. So now again, this is remember, you can use these for two things. You can use these to get buyer leads, but here's how I use my, these funnels. I use these funnels by showing up on a listing appointment. And before I even get to the listing appointment, showing them that we have these and that we're different and we differentiate ourselves. Okay. So if we go to, um, here we go. So this right here is a virtual open house, uh, funnel right here. Okay. So somebody will, will go here and they'll will should they'll be able to see all of the different funnels. Whoops, oops, oops, I did do that. All of the different funnels that I'm sorry, open houses that we have. Okay. And then they're able to uh, request for us to send them to them. So then they click on this button, they give us their full name, they give us their email address and their phone number, and then we give them the, the access to all of these specific virtual tours, okay? So then you hit get the virtual tour. I have to do this, let me just do it. There we go, submitting. Now they get here and I say, great, your information's on the way. Can you see the screen now? Good. Home and you don't know where to Perfect. Hi there, so you're thinking about buying a home and you don't know where to start. Purchasing a home is most likely gonna be one of the largest investments that you ever make in your lifetime. You need an experienced professional agent to walk you through each phase to ensure that your best interests are protected. So here's what I'm doing here. Number one, I'm saying, hey, you're looking for, um, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're probably thinking about buying a home. You don't know where to start, right? And then I'm saying, I'm, I'm doing, trying to put, plant a seed of doubt a little bit in their head, all right? You need an experienced agent, okay? Protected. I've been in the industry for over 17 years and I've assisted hundreds of buyers over the years. Now, I didn't say, oh, I'm so great, hire me, but I want them to understand that I'm the authority and they should continue to listen to me, okay? I've been in the industry for 17 years, I've sold hundreds of homes, okay? I've helped hundreds of buyers. Here's how we can help you. First, you make sure that you're qualified to purchase a home. You'll know things like what types of loans you can qualify for and what your payment will be, including the interest and the taxes and the insurance. Once you know what you're qualified for, we'll go on a house hunt, finding you the very perfect house just for you. And we're gonna make sure that you're fully aware of the neighborhoods, the schools, and anything that possibly could be problematic with the area or the home that could affect the value. Then we help you negotiate an offer in a way that is beneficial for you and the seller. Once your offer is accepted, we open up escrow, we give the title company the initial deposit, and we start scheduling inspections and the appraisal. We are diligent about making sure that we don't miss any contractual deadlines so that we keep your deposit safe and now, you won't get risk of I'm losing kind of it. The nerve, like, what's a deposit? How could I lose it? Right? It's super important after the inspection to know what is customary or what is not customary to ask the seller to do. We will be in constant communication with all the parties of the transaction to ensure that your best interest is covered and that we close on time. There are so many more parts to the transaction. 
that I could be here for hours telling you. So better yet, give my team members a call. We can become your trusted advisors and walk you through every step, ensuring that you make the right decision all the way from looking until we hand you the keys to your new home. And don't forget, the seller pays for our fees. It doesn't cost you anything. I just want to make sure you, you say that, everyone, when you're, we're going after buyers, letting them know it, it doesn't cost them, them anything our services, but I can guarantee you it will cost you if you don't have proper representation from an experienced professional who is on your team. So let's chat and let's get you into your dream home. Okay, so let's see here. Great. All right. So now um, they, they get that. We've already given them their information. Now I've got a lot of other videos on here. Why do you need it? Need an approval? Make sure you've offered a competitive price, just more education. Okay. And mind you, now they've already gotten the, um, the open house, uh, the open house is sent to their email. Okay. Now there's a different type. Um, this is a live one. This is one where they're going to be signing up to go to a specific open house and they're actually going to be meeting, it keeps doing that, meeting with me live, right? So now they're going to, they're going to be able to see which open house they want to go to, okay? They're picking a specific one. When they go to this specific one, now what's happening is, is they are, um, they're signing up here for a free ticket and receive the Zoom link. Um, they're, they're, I'm going to be there with them, okay? I'm going to be there with them. Obviously, we've got some testimonials here. Try not to over to, to confuse them too much. But now they're going to be able to click on the exact open house that they want, like which one they want to go on. Why is that doing that? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So then they're going to put here. Now, notice right here, they're going to say which open house they want to go to. Now, when you show up to a listing appointment, you show your seller this. I guarantee you that nobody else is showing them this. No one else is doing this. So what have I done? I've now just positioned myself as unique. I have a value add. I'm utilizing digital marketing. If they want open houses, they can still have them, even though I know that they don't really work, right? Um, and I'm satisfying the need of the seller, okay? So, so when I go into my appointment, these are the kind of things that I'm doing. If you are working with sellers, having something like this is, is going to, to just position you in a different manner. And also, if you do know how to run the Facebook ads and get buyers there for your, your listings, you're now also going to be getting buyers, right? I personally don't like working with buyers. And so I, I don't do very many buyer ads um, because I'm, especially now with how competitive it is, I'm going after sellers. Okay. But I use this and I show the sellers the two different ones. So they know that we've got, you know, we've got um, different types, ones that we can, we market that just are on e-blast all the time and ones that we specifically show up to. And then like we show up. So um, We've done this and we tested this when, when COVID first happened and it worked, right? We had buyers show up and now I'm getting to meet the buyers. We had realtors show up too. <laughs> getting to meet the buyers. I'm, you know, I'm showing the seller how different I am and I'm letting them see like in the video that I have beforehand, we show them this, right? And when people meet up with us, we're giving them like the full Matterport tour and everything. Whether they show up in person or they're doing it online, they're seeing like the full blown, um, uh, part of the home and we show the sellers what they're seeing. So now I've satisfied the seller. Also, if you don't want to do open houses, you could say, you know, how much more buyers are online. They pretty much prefer to do that anyways. Right. Um, and the way, the way we've always gotten out of doing open houses is, is the truth. I just absolutely tell the truth. I say less than 3% of homes nationwide sell with open houses. And quite frankly, I feel they're very, very dangerous right now. 99% of buyers are going online starting their home search. So we prefer to, to go online. You know, um, the reason why most agents do open houses, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, quite frankly, is because they just haven't learned how to utilize 21st century digital marketing strategies to showcase their properties. That's what they're still doing things like open houses and brokers tour, but truly they don't really work. Right. And they're like, oh, my God, I hate open houses. I don't want to do them anyways. And I can't tell you how many hundreds of times I have heard that. Now, if you love doing open houses, then do open houses. I just prefer to spend my time, you know, a little bit differently, quite, quite frankly. OK, so any questions on that now? Nobody has any questions. Are you having multiple people come to the virtual open house at the same time? Yep. Yep, Jen, multiple people come. And you're going to want to advertise and market and put an, put an ad spin behind it to promote it, right? Um, that way it's like seen by the masses. But yeah, you want multiple people to come. And it's kind of cool. You can, you know, it's, you, you, they ask you correct questions. They talk to them, develop a relationship. And they also, it also can do like FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. When they see other buyers on that, on that call, they're like, man, I better take action and, and, and do something quick here. FOMO is awesome. We all mm -hmm. have 
do do you have a specific time on your funnels how long you spend in that funnel meaning when you're doing training uh or do you just go for it and whatever the time is it is what it is or do you really try to uh hold to a timeline what do you mean Dwayne? hold i don't understand you know your funnels how you're telling them how to get pre-approved and things like that you know those funnels so do you say do you go in there and say i'm only want to spend three minutes on the, in this funnel because i don't want to lose them in the video or do you go 15 minutes or show you another another funnel that i have and, and this will help you so this is this is a um let me show you guys the seller the seller and buyer seminar so we make it to where and this one we just change hopefully hopefully it's changed already it might not be hopefully my team changed it oh oh wrong one okay hold on, let me pull it up here oh that's why okay let me show you guys like the um i showed you guys the what's the cma market evaluation one last time you guys saw that one right so let's just look at a seller seminar okay so this right here isn't really a seller seminar so basically somebody's going to go to this funnel after i've already targeted them on facebook and they've specifically watched um list uh videos on selling okay then i'm going to send them here all right click here to get interest access to the virtual seller seminar but what we're what we've done right is ah, it's not changed yet so we've just recently should have changed this where we're not making them, they can watch any one of these videos at, at this time, okay? So we start with this one, I'll show you. And this right here, this, this is Zillow accurate. It's actually good for a buyer and for a seller. You'll notice this is just a few minutes, Dwayne, three minutes, okay? Let me ask you a question. Would you ever marry someone without ever seeing them or actually getting to know them personally? Would you ever go on an app and just like their picture the way that it looked and ask them to marry you? Or better yet, would you ever compare someone you wanted to marry to their friends and base your decision to marry them based upon the way their friends looked or acted without ever meeting them? Of course you would not. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? We couldn't possibly judge someone's character based upon their friends. Well. I wouldn't do that either. Hi everyone, I'm Krista Mayshore, owner and associate broker of Homeless by Krista with eXp Realty. Marrying somebody without actually seeing them is just like trusting Zillow to value your home. You see, Zillow is an algorithm and they get their information from public data. Zillow has never seen the inside of your home and Zillow is a computer. It's basing the price of your home based upon what the neighbors are doing. It's basically the exact same thing as marrying someone based upon their friends. Zillow comes up with the value based upon what your neighbors are selling for. They look at things like the size of the home, how many bedrooms it has, how many bathrooms, and they compare them to your neighbors. But they cannot take into consideration major things like upgrades, views, location, amenities, the desirability of the market, and the climate. A computer cannot take those major features into consideration when giving you a value or a zestment. And all of these factors have a huge impact on the value of your home and what you actually should list it for. We take a detailed look at not only the comparables, but also what the absorption rate is, as well as many other factors when determining what to list your home for. You have to consider inventory levels, buyer demand, interest rates, Take this home on Spanish Bay in Brentwood. The Zestimate was $845,500. So now right here what I'm doing is I'm basically planting a seated out and positioning myself as the expert and also justifying my point, okay, about Zillow. $153. And we actually sold this house for $1.1 million. That's a $255,000 difference. Here's another example on Jonathan Terrace in Brentwood. The Zestimate was $939,000 and we sold it for $1,180,000. That is a $241,000 difference in the seller's favor. Relying on Zillow for the value of your home is the exact same thing as relying on a picture when choosing your mate. Maybe you should have swiped left instead of right. So the Zestimate is, call a professional who has the experience and the ability to assess the value of your home based upon taking everything into consideration, not just the things that they can see. And hey, if you're wanting a more accurate analysis of the value of your home, call us. We've sold thousands of homes right here in East County in Brentwood, California, 9451. Now, why did I, 
The reason why I said Brentwood, California 94513 is for SEO, search engine optimization. And Oakley, California 94561. And we can get you a custom market proposal from a real live person who lives, works, and breathes real estate full time. And as always, everyone, I'm here to serve. Cannot wait to help you. Krista Mayshore with Homes by Krista and EXP Realty. Okay, so go ahead. A couple questions. So the the algorithms now can actually discern what is said in the video and and see this as SEO tags. Very good question. So I do something called video repurposing, and in fact, what I can do next week is talk about video repurposing on Wednesday. Okay. So I do video repurposing with every single video that I do. So I get SEO, which means by, and I can go into it more detail next week, but when you take that video and you transcribe it, put it on your website and also on YouTube. Now, Google is the number one, right? Number one search website. YouTube is the second. Now I'm getting SEO because they're linking. Okay. So I've got it on my website that, that, that connects to, with Google. All of yours does too. Google likes information and they like targeted so for example, when I do a market update, I don't just say, hey, it's a market update. It's like your East County, nine, Brentwood, California, 94561 market update, right? When thinking about selling your home in Brentwood, California, 94513, when people go on search, you want to make sure you're putting in what they're putting in, right? Or that what, you what I'm asking is, are you generating that SEO tag via the description that you're writing? Or is the algorithm actually able to discern what you say in the video regardless of what you write as the description below the video. So the algorithm on Facebook is not able to do that. Okay. But the, but the algorithm in YouTube is, and the algorithm oh, amazing. In Google is yes. They love videos more than anything else, but you always want to transcribe your videos and have the, the words go down at the bottom. Right. But when I take my videos, I put the video on my website and also, and the actual, the words on there. Because the words then are getting the SEO through Google. Okay, another, another question. So obviously these videos are well produced. You've practiced them. You've scripted them before, I assume. No. no those are with Big Boot. So I, I mean, I, I, like here, I'll show you. So if you look right there, okay, that behind that, oh, let me let me get it. I'm I'm wearing um like. So you have green screen. These are all shot green screen, and then everything is done in post. Yep, they're all done in green screen. I've got a teleprompter behind that light right there. Um, and, and it's really, it's easy. Like, so like today I'm actually going to be recording a 17 minute long video, right? Um, and then I've got four market updates to do that I, you know, today. So like yesterday with all my scripts, it's really easy when you write the script yourself and, or at least you read it a couple times because then when you see it on the teleprompter, um, it's easier. And I'll tell you what, it gets easier and easier. At first, it's kind of hard but it gets better. But if you don't have it, another thing you can do is like take the whiteboard. So I have a whiteboard right there. So my whiteboard. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll just be like, okay, what I'm going to talk about. And I'll just put bullet points, like big bullet points, or I'll put them on a big piece of paper. And I'll be like, I want to talk about the absorption rate. I want to talk about comparables, you know, and I'll just do that. And I'll know. So I do it both ways. But when I do these types of ones, I'm specifically, because now when somebody goes to this, when somebody goes to this, this, um, this landing page, right? So Dwayne asked a question. He said, Krista, how long should they be? When they're top of funnel, you want them shorter. As they start, as you start bringing them down your funnel, they can be longer because you know they're interested. If you see somebody watch two minutes of a video, they're thinking about selling or whatever your main topic was. Now I can go longer and longer. But now when they get to this landing page, right? I didn't get to show you guys. I mean, I know it's time to end, but um, I'll, I'll show you. There's, there's plenty of other ones. So we used to make it where they had to click on it and to give us their information before we'd show them all the videos. I changed that because too many people were, were jumping off. They weren't giving me, me my information, which tells me I haven't warmed them up yet. So what we're doing now is we're letting them see there's like 15 videos on that page. Uh, where did it go? I love when things get missing. But there's like 15 videos on that landing page that's talking about like pre-approval, you know, pricing, um, the absorption rate smells in the house, you know, upgrades and all that. And so now by letting them see those sooner, I'm just positioning myself as the expert. So that way now when I go in front of them, they're they're already super primed and warmed up. Hmm. Make sense, James? Yeah, um, uh, but maybe that's, I can check the video you did last week on that. So what is the, just curious, what are the, are you doing all the post editing yourself or are you hiring an editor to do that stuff for you? So I have an editor that does it all, uh, that does it all for me. And then for my students, we we give them access to all these videos and they just record them. And then we literally do the editing 
for them. It, it looks just like mine. It's just them instead of me. So all these right here, guys, these are all videos. The pre-market quiz, marketing your home, good time to sell, inspections, how quickly sold. We're changing this so they don't have to click on here to get access. They get access, they can see it instantly, but then later on, it's, it, this should say, hey, to get an evaluation of your home, let us know or to set up an appointment, let us know. Make sense? This is a, this is a, a video of a, um, of a buyer that we helped on there, a um, couple testimonials. And, and each video that you do, you're, you're calling them funnels. Are these actually in the independent websites developed for each one of these videos or is this a template that you're copying and then you're just this is the funnel that i created and built okay and then i put each of these videos in there but i'll do a whole separate ad just on a pre-market quiz or just on marketing your home or good time to sell right i'll do individual ones and those aren't funnels those are ads that will go on a landing page right but then i but my goal is to always bring them somewhere else to give them more information not just stop at the top of funnel and then on top of that, we're targeting people. So if somebody like watches the pre-market, I created an ad on Facebook, I target people, right? They watch the pre-market quiz. Then I'm gonna retarget them marketing your home. Then I'm gonna retarget them good time to sell. Then I'm gonna bring them to this landing page, this funnel. Do you have, a, do you have any uh, video or anything on that topic of starting from a more high level of, uh, so of actually designing this entire system that you're talking about? past couple of weeks like we're talking about starts with creating video content i hope i didn't confuse you guys cool. all right everyone it's 8 33 i'm late and jesse yells at me when i go too long so i apologize um how are we doing are we doing okay yes all right yes okay good 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 um all right i'll see you next next week i'll go over video repurposing with you all okay that will be my topic, video repurposing. How do you, how you can, you know, take one video and get a ton of, ton of content out of it. All right, everyone, I'll see you next Wednesday. Good Thank job. You. You're welcome. Bye. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.